Okay, so today I'm gonna go ahead. How to go ahead and switch from the i3 desktop environment to the GNOME desktop environment. Okay, so after many failed attempts, I finally found the command. Like I said, I'm a little rusty. When Nick's still on, it's kind of hard to find a lot of tutorials on it on uh, today's date. So it's sudo nixmv i and the nick os three. Okay, install. Okay, so after you do that, uh, even if you get that error with the profile priority and all that, uh, we're gonna go ahead and do sudo nano etc nix os. Configuration here, and what you're gonna go ahead and do is you're gonna add this line here: services x server desktop manager gnome enable equals true, and you're gonna uncomment this line here, and you're gonna make sure you uncomment. I mean, you uh, comment your i3 lines here. So you just got gnome enable. I think DM enable is so these right that's it that's all you want right there right. and I have one too many here it's kind of a messy configuration and then after you do that Anyway, after you do that, sorry about that guys. You're gonna go ahead and do Suno Nix OS rebuild switch. And that's gonna build you another configuration. And then you will be good to go. Uh, you just restart, boot your latest configuration, and you will be in GNOME. Which uh I guess I'll go ahead and let that finish here so you can go ahead and see it. Choose this one here. Just put it up. And there you have it, we're on the GNOME desktop environment. Here's Google Chrome. Not sure why I didn't show up in the CLI. It made the Chrome on like, oh, that, that's because it booted the old configuration. That's right, when I was doing that, I was like, why do I have it in Chrome? Anyway, yeah, that's it. We got Chrome on there now. Nice and speedy Gonzalez. Everything's working good. That, and that's pretty much it. Um, if you like the video, like and subscribe. Out.